Hey, it's Mr. Lineski with Unit 6, Section 3, Triangle Similarity. So we talked about similar polygons. Now we're going to specifically look at those triangles again. It's going to seem very familiar what we discuss here today. Um, so, if you remember back from Unit 4, I think, uh, we talked about proving that triangles are congruent. And so we know um, that if we're saying that things are similar, that it means that the angles are congruent and the sides are proportionate. So it's kind of like proving that they're congruent, but now we're just saying, eh, they're similar. So there's not as many ways to prove that triangles are similar, but we have three of them. Two of them are a bit familiar, one of them not so much. So the first one is angle-angle similarity, and then we have side-angle-side and side-side-side similarity. So angle similarity is pretty nice, because it basically just says if two angles of a triangle are congruent, to two angles of a second triangle, then we are allowed to say that those triangles are similar. Um, if I have something side angle side similarity, that is basically saying that if two sides of the triangle are proportionate, so before it used to be congruent, now we're just saying they're proportionate to each other, um, to two sides of a second triangle, and their included angle is congruent, then we can say that the two triangles are similar. So essentially when I say the included angle, that means the angle that's in between the two sides. Um, so ideally what exactly do we need in this to prove that the triangles are similar? Well we can say that angle X is congruent to angle M, and now when we're setting up our proportion, we're not going to say that the sides are equal, we're going to say they're proportionate. So we would say something like, well XZ is proportionate to MP, the same as XY is proportionate to MN. Whoa, too many squiggles. MN. So if all of this stuff happens, then we can say that triangle ZXY is similar to triangle uh, PMN. And make sure, again, when you're naming the first triangle, name it whatever you want, but when you name the second triangle, that the corresponding parts have to match up. Side-side-side similarity is the one that involves the most work, because it involves you checking three fractions or three proportions. Basically, it says that all three sides of a triangle are proportionate to all three sides of a second triangle. If that is true, then all the sides are similar. So in my little example here, if I said something like, well, A, B is to RS as AC is to RT and BC is to ST. If all three of those have the same scale factor, if they all equal the same thing, then we can say that the two triangles are congruent. So again we could say something like triangle ABC would be similar to triangle R whoops, draw the triangle, triangle RST. So here's an example of sort of what that looks like. So it says, determine if the triangles are similar, write a similarity statement explaining why. So if I give you a problem like this, where nothing about the sides is being mentioned, absolutely nothing about the sides is mentioned here, the only thing that we have to look for is angle-angle similarity. So essentially we're just looking for, are two angles in these triangles congruent? So we know that yes, 42 and 42 are congruent, so that's one pair of angles. So the idea is we need to find a second pair of angles because it's called angle angle. And so we don't know what this missing angle is here. We don't know what the missing angle is here. So remember we can find that by subtracting from 180. So when I subtract all of that from 180, um, you should get that, yes indeed, these triangles are congruent or similar, I should say. Um, so since this is 80 and this is 80, I can say that the triangles are similar through angle-angle similarity. So writing a similarity statement, I would say that A, or triangle, excuse me, ABC is similar to triangle EDF. Uh, so because I don't know anything about the sides, I can't say they're congruent, but I can at least say that they are similar. All right, moving on to the next problem. It says, determine if the triangles are similar, write a similarity state statement, explain why. So explain why just means that your answer is going to be one of these three things. 
Uh, so looking at the problem here, I have two triangles with three sides involved in it. So I could potentially go for side, side, side if I want to, but I'm kind of lazy, and I recognize, hey, that there are two angles there that are congruent. So I can at least eliminate maybe side, 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 and just try to do side, angle, side, so I can do a less, little bit less work. So now, ideally, I need to compare the sides and see if they're proportionate. So I'm going to check 6 is to 5 as 7.5 is to 4. And when I cross multiply here, I can check to see if that comes out to be the same fraction, or the same number, excuse me. So 4 times 6 is 24, 5 times 7.5 is 37.5. So since that did not come out the same, I can't say that the sides are proportionate in that way. But I could check this as well. So I did 6 over 5. I'm going to now check 6 over 4 instead. So let's check 6 over 4 and see if that is similar to 7.5 over 5. So you always want to check both ways. Um, so when I cross multiply here, I get 30. 4 times 7.5, hey, that's also 30. So yes, these triangles are similar. So my similarity statement would be triangle ACB is similar to triangle DCE. And the reason, explain, side angle side similarity. So we have two angles congruent, and then we have the two sides proportionate. So the next one, write a proportion and solve for x given that the triangles are similar. So this is kind of what we worked on last unit with similar figures, or last section, I should say. Um, I'm telling you ahead of time that these things are congruent. So now it's just a matter of matching up the right parts. So AB would be similar to CD. So CD is X. So we would say 10 is to X as, and then BE matches up with ED. So we would say as 6 is to 8. Cross, multiply, and solve. A lot of this unit is just cross multiplying and solving. So we get 13.333 repeating. So you just put 13.33. Alrighty. Next problem, determine whether the triangles are similar. If yes, identify the postulate that supports your answer and write a similarity statement. So again, identify the postulate just means is it AA, SA, S, or SSS. Um, so vertical angles, check. Parallel lines, if we remember from proving triangles congruent, that means that alternate interior angles are congruent. So yes, these two triangles would definitely be similar um, because of angle-angle similarity. So are they similar? Yes. So remember, we can't just do vertical angles and be like, yep, angle-angle, because it's not angle-angle, it's angle-angle. It's two sets of angles. Um, so now writing our similarity statement, if we have start with ABC, that means I need to end with triangle EDC. Make sure you go in the right order. So A is blank, so that means I need to start with the blank part here, E. And then our last question here, it says determine whether the triangles are similar. If yes, identify the postulate that supports, blah, 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 and write a similarity statement. So um, here if we notice, we have 5, 5, 6, 3, 3, 5. So we can kind of assume that the two sides that are the same, 3, 3, 5, 5, that those are going to be the ones that we compare to be proportionate to each other. So we're going to check is 3 over 5 equal to, and realistically for side, 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 we should be checking all of them. So obviously it's going to equal itself, 3 over 5, 3 over 5, but now we need to check does that equal 5 over 6. So I'm not really going to worry about this, but instead I'm going to cross multiply here. Um, 3 times 6 is 18, 5 times 5 is 25. These are not equal, therefore are they similar? No, and then that's basically it. We don't need to any identify any reason, we don't need to write a similarity statement because they are not similar. Alright, that is it for similar triangles. Thank you for watching. I know it and now you know it.